So what do you think? Will you be in the kingdom of heaven? A more scriptural question would be, do you believe that you will be in the kingdom of heaven? Shalom, I am Bala Alam and will be your host for this talk. Our heavenly father, we ask you in Yahshua's name to help us to understand what Yahshua meant by saying, depart from me. Therefore, we rely on your spirit of truth to lead us in the words that Yahshua said, help us to understand. Amen. I am sure that these words no one of us want to hear. So let's trust the spirit of truth to reveal to us these words. Yahshua is talking, saying, Matthew 7 verse 19, Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So then, by their fruits you shall know them. Yahshua, Jesus is comparing us with fruit trees. And he says, If you are not bearing good fruit or doing good works, then I will unroot you and throw you into the fire. Yahshua, look at us and evaluate our behavior towards others on our fruit. Jesus will throw the people who do not do good works into hell himself. Let us look at the rest of the teaching Yahshua gave. Matthew 7.21 not everyone who says to me, Master, Master, shall enter into the reign of the heavens, but he who is doing the desire of my Father in the heavens. Verse 22, many shall say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in your name? and cast out demons in your name, and done many mighty works in your name. And then I shall declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. Let us work through the teaching verse by verse. From verse 21, not everyone who say to me, Master, Master, shall enter into the reign of the heaven, but he who is doing the desire of my Father in the heaven. So not everyone that call Jesus Lord or Master shall enter into the kingdom of heavens. There must be then another criteria. So, not everyone that will call Jesus or Yahshua Lord or Master will reign with Yahshua. The criteria here is to do the will or the desire of our Heavenly Father. When you study scripture, you will see that the desire of Father is for you to love Him and to love your neighbor as yourself. So that's the will of our Heavenly Father. Matthew 7, 21. Many shall say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many mighty works in your name? In that day, what do you think that means? Would this be the judgment day? Because Yahweh, Yahshua said, Depart from me. I never knew you. It seems like these people did a couple of great things in Jesus' name. They prophesied. How many times did you prophesy? They cast out demons. When last did you cast out demons? And they done many mighty works. When was the last time that you command the rain to stop? 
go to start raining, go to multiply food. These people did many good deeds, good things in Jesus' name. Let's face it, these were not ordinary Christians as we know them today. Christians of today, they just go to church and sit in the church and do nothing. These Christians were on fire for the Lord. But it seems that they did not meet the criteria that God will be using. They were lacking. They did not do the desire or the will, the works that Father wanted them to do. There will be many Christians who will confess Jesus as Lord and will testify of all the great signs, wonders, deliverances, and prophecies that they did in Jesus' name. And that will be Yahshua's response. And then I shall declare to them, Matthew 7, 23, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. What? Are you serious? Well, this is written. These are the words of the Son of God. What do you think Yahshua said? In verse 23. And then I shall declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. I never knew you. What do you think is God's measurement, his criteria then? What is the means for Elohim to know you? Surely it's the same means for you to know Elohim. What does the word testify to this? In the first letter of John, we read 1 John to verse 3 and by this we know that we know him if we guard his command so for us to know if we know Elohim we must do we must guard his commands and that is God's criteria by this there's no other way by this this is how we know God and how God knows us. This is how we have interaction with one another. The more we study and do the Torah, Elohim's instructions, the more we learn God's character, the better or the more we know of Elohim and we know Elohim. The more good works we do, living the Torah, the more God knows us. 1 John 2 verse 4. The one who says, I know him, I know Jesus, I know God, and does not guard his commandments. God means to do them and to teach others to do them. In other words, to obey to shama, to hear and do the instructions. The one who says, I know him and does not guard his commands is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever guards his word, truly the love of Elohim has been perfected in him. By this, we know that we are in him. Back at Matthew, what Yahshua said, 7.23. And then I shall declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me. So now we know Yahshua was speaking to the people that disobey the command, the instructions, the Torah. Then that verse continued by Yahshua saying, you work lawlessness. These Christians say to Yahshua, Master, Master, 
Have we not prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and done many mighty works in your name? Among other things, Yahshua said to them that they were lawlessness. They were disobedient to the law, to the Torah, to God's instructions given to them. They did not do good works. Good works can't save you. You believe in the Messiah, in Yahshua, and what he did for you, that will save. But good works are very important after you have a relationship with Yahweh and you trust him and you are obedient to him and you love him. Therefore, you do the good works. 1 John 3 verse 4. Everyone doing sin also does lawlessness and sin is lawlessness. So therefore, Yahshua said, depart from me, you that are still bound by sin. You that are still doing sin, lawlessness. John 8 verse 44. You are of your father, the devil, and the desire of your father wish to do, you wish to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and has not stood in truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks the lie, he speaks of his own. For he is a liar and the father. Clearly, we can understand from this word that when we are so committing sin, lying, etc., then Satan is our father and not Yahweh, not our heavenly father. Because we do the works of the one who fathered you, the one that's your father. If you live in sin, Satan is your father and God do not know you, for he know his own. Second Timothy 2.19 Now ever, the solid foundation of Elohim stands firm, having the seal Yahweh knows those who are his. How do we know that? Those that are truthful, those that are obedient to his word, those that love him, those that love his neighbor as himself. Let everyone who names the name of the Messiah turn away from unrighteousness. Second Timothy. To verse 19. Let everyone who names the name of the Messiah turn away from unrighteousness. That means that everyone who names or call on the name of Jesus, of the Messiah, Yahshua, turn away from sin and start to obey the Torah. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to speak your word. Therefore, we ask you to guide us in all truth, to protect us against the wickedness of this world, and to write your word, the truth, on our heart. We thank you for that, Father, in Yahshua's name we pray. Amen.